So shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lad Zone. And we're continuing our video book on the versatile and capable 44 Special being done by myself and Thorzax777. That's Dave. Well, you've heard me say on a number of occasions now that the 44 Special revolver is very versatile because it can chamber 44 Russian rounds because all they are are shorter cases than the 44 Special. And there are still some of you out there who will say there's no reason to be interested in the 44 Russian because the 44 Special will do everything the 44 Russian will and more. So why bother with the 44 Russian? Once again, it's because when you have a more efficient powder space for the load that you're using, the smaller powder space will give you more pressure and more velocity for the same powder charge than a bigger case. So this video, we're going to show that. What I've got here are the same bullets, 245 grain Keith bullets, the same primer, the same six grains of unique powder charge. The only difference in these loads is that these two are 44 specials and these two are 44 Russians. So let's go ahead and take these to the range and compare the performance of these two loads in these two different brass cartridges to see if indeed there is a value to a shorter case like the 44 Russian over the 44 Special. So that's the 6 grain unique 44 Russian right there. We're going to use our Smith & Wesson Model 629 for this test. Velocity. Well there's the view through the chronograph. Let's go ahead and chronograph that 6 grain load with the 245 and the 44 Russian rounds first. So that load is 840 grain, that load is 840 feet per second, 809, 828, 828 again, 826. So here are the results from 12 and a half yards and a rest. 44 Russian, 245 grain Keith bullets, 6 grains of unique. There's 840, 809, 828, 828, and 826. Average of 826. Spread of only 31 feet per second with a standard deviation of 12. That's pretty impressive load. Especially when it shot that group. Five rounds. Very accurate load. And so much for bullet jump causing loss of accuracy. That's not bad. Now let's shoot five rounds with a four special, six grains of unique and the same bullet. So that six grains of unique in the 44 special shot a lot lower velocity. 584, 619, 625, 651 all over the place. 630, high of 651, low of 584, average 621, spread of 67, deviation of 24. The 44 Special, same bullet, same powder charge, 584, 619, 625, 651, 630, and the average of 621 spread of 6724 standard deviation that's over 200 feet per second slower velocity because of the big case of the 44 special not using that six grain charge very efficiently we would have to load somewhere around 7.5 to 7.8 grains of unique to get the same velocity as the 828 feet per second of the 44 Russian with the same 6 grain powder charge. So a lot more economy, you can save over a grain and a half per shot to get the same performance with the 44 Russian. Plus look what the accuracy 
of that load was in the 44 Special, well known for being a very accurate round, it shot a five shot group that had four keyholes in there. Might even be all five of them were keyholing. Not very impressive. That 44 Special needs more powder to get the same performance and probably the same accuracy by using powder charges at least at seven and a half grains of unique and maybe even eight. So shooters and reloaders, what are our conclusions? And, and it's easy to see that a shorter case such as the 44 Russian can be very much more efficient in the powder space over larger cases to the tune of 200 feet per second to the advantage with the 44 Russian over same powder charges in the 44 Special. So, if your velocity requirements can be met by the shorter case, you're better off using the shorter case in your revolver. Now, once we get to 950 to 1,000 feet per second, then the 44 Special takes over and we can use that powder space more efficiently to get the higher velocities from the 44 Special. But until then, the 44 Russian will give us the same performance. Plus, even with a sixth grain of unique charge, we're getting 826 feet per second from a four inch barrel. So that is very near the Skeeter load, which is the Frontier load. 850 feet per second with a 250 grain bullet is the Frontier load of the Old West. And we know how effective that load is. Well, 826 feet per second is very close to that. And if you want the Frontier load, then we give it 6.2 grains or 6.3 grains of unique to get that. And Dave up there at Thorzak 777 has already concluded that unique is a very good powder for the 44 Special or 44 Russian in the Charter Arms Bulldog. So see you in the next video. Bye for now.